In the world of OTT platform, where you can see a lot of big projects, a lot of big uh, uh, you know films and uh, series are coming out as a web series or web films, and Netflix and uh, you know Disney Plus, Amazon Prime, they're all competing with each other and giving us a great some great examples of uh, you know contents, and we are enjoying them and. There are other platforms as well who's actually struggling to f compete with those big names, but they're also putting some good uh, shows. And in this market, uh, we already know that Apple already has entered and they are trying to do a lot of stuff with their own projects and they want to be another big name. So they are try and dropping a lot of uh, new trailers in for their project and one of them that I, uh, caught my eyes was the shrink next door because the cast, the main two cast that uh, they actually um, you know uh, prioritized uh, was uh, uh, Paul Rudd and and Will Ferrell, and they're two both. Uh, you know, uh, they have a long t history of comedy f uh, comedy works, and uh, if you w watch closely, some of the most amazing uh, comedy workers who has done uh, most of the life uh, the comedy films and stuff suddenly takes a serious role and they dropped the best performance ever and that actually like uh, one of the director from uh, Breaking Bad told that uh, when it comes to portraying emotions I think uh, he thinks that a comedy uh, uh, you know uh, a comedy actor does deliver better than other actors and actresses so I'm really, really looking forward to this because two big names, Will, uh, Will Ferrell and Paul Rudd, they're both successful in their own field, coming together in a film that looks a little bit serious than comedy film. I don't know, maybe it will turn out as a comedy film, but it shows, the description shows that it's going to be based on a true story and it's going to be a little psychiatric stuff. So. I have no idea what this is going to be. If this is going to be serious, if this is going to be um, another, you know, uh, comedy stuff. Even though I'm okay with that because I'm a big fan of Will Ferrell. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I, I really loved uh, his, um, you know, uh, physical comedies and stuff. Uh, after uh, Jim Carrey, I think he carried this physical comedy stuff to this era quite well and he did it with uh, so much experience and so much grace and I really really loved him and really respect him for what he did uh, for this platform. Anyway guys, uh, let's watch the trailer of The Shrink Next Door, let's talk about it a little bit more after we watch it because we need to understand what the story is all about and let's talk it after that. This is Abhi React, welcome back to my channel. Tell me about yourself. Everything is fine. How's the situation with your sister? Fine. And how's the work? It's fine. You know what word I'm getting a little tired of hearing from you, Marty? The F word. Everything is not fine. You're a nice guy. I'm not gonna let anyone use you. Therapy works. It's empowering. It's liberating. I feel like I'm on drugs. <laughs> I mean, I've never taken them before, but I mean, I assume this is what drugs feel like. I don't care what you say anymore. This is my life. Doctor's a little unconventional. I don't trust him. Go ahead with your own life. Leave me Marty, I have your best interest at heart. But without trust, we have nothing. I do trust you. I trust you completely. 
I do believe you have just had what we head shrinkers call a breakthrough. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. And we're out of time. Oh. Leave me alone. Okay, right off the bat. It looks serious and comedy at the same time. And I actually like it. I re actually really, really liked it. And the way they portrayed the trailer, they went from little comedy, a comedic dialogue from a little serious, a little serious from the comedy, and then you see the conflict between uh, characters, and then you see the relationship between the characters, a little bit of glimpse of that, and you see the uh, you know uh, situation these characters are into. You see people dying there in the funeral home. Uh, right after that, you see people eating in, in a big uh, you know dining room with uh, together having a nice dinner. And then you see they are quarreling, they're screaming, and then they're smiling, they're crying, all the stuff in one trailer. And it's actually quite a great thing to uh, see. And another thing that I always talk about trailers, that if you want to make a trailer, always make sure that your story gets revealed, but not enough for the people, but enough to make them appetize. It's, uh, it, a, tra a trailer is like an appetizer. If you eat an appetizer, it should, it should not fill your stomach. It should uh, salivate for more food uh, so that when the main course comes, you can enjoy it. And if your appetizer is way too big of a portion, you eat that appetizer and you, you are full, you cannot enjoy the main course anymore. So, let alone the dessert or anything. Uh, anyway, I think it, you should treat trailer as an appetizer. And this trailer was one of the best appetizers I've ever seen. And it's, it's an amazing trailer. I mean, it actually reveals you enough to salivate. Then it stopped with a comedic dialogue gives you a little relief that it's not all serious it have a little bit of light tone as well so you're not gonna have a roller coaster of a, um, uh, you know emotional breakdown when you see this project it's saying you know assurance from this uh, trailer that you are getting a very balanced production so that's what I think is a great trailer and that trailer makes me want to watch this when it comes out. That trailer makes me want to watch this when it's available to me. And that's a very successful thing to do for a trailer. And I'm really, looking, really looking forward to watch this now because it looks very strong. It looks very um, light at the same time. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. There are some issues about mental health that they're trying to portray. There are also some issues about, I think, uh, betrayals. There's an issue about some fraudling. I don't know if that's if that's a thing. And there's something about friendship. There's something about a relationship. All those stuff you can actually hint, uh, get a hint from this trailer, and it's a great thing to see. And. For that, I'm gonna watch this whole thing when it comes out and when it gets available to me. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you like this video as well and, and I'll be making more videos from now on. I'll be seeing you in the next video as well. Until then, I'll take you live.